how the hell did he fit 711 PlayStation games on 128 gigabytes? All right, that's pretty cool. What? <laughs> I did not know you can compress them down that much. I'm not, you know, is it possible? I, I mean, I guess. Wow. 700 PlayStation games. I, my mind is blown. Capcom versus SNK. Galistio dropping us his Cobalto V4. And what makes V4 so great? Well, it's on Recall Box 7.1. One has more games than ever, more artwork than ever. It works with the Raspberry Pi 4 and the Raspberry Pi 400. There you go, people. You've heard it from here. Raspberry Pi 400. This is going to work. A lot of people looking for a plug and play Raspberry Pi 400 images. Look no further. Now, really quickly, the biggest downside to this image, and it's kind of a big one for a lot of people, but first let me tell you why it's awesome. 15,000 games, all games. Let's see. 15,434 games. You see that in the lower right corner? Damn, that's a lot of games. So, and look at all these systems. Now that's for the Raspberry Pi 4, um, because a lot of his previous images were for the Raspberry Pi 3, because Recall Box you know, took a little longer to get to the Raspberry Pi 4. Um, and then also he does a lot of, uh, Galicio does a lot of images for like TV boxes, using Emulet and some other stuff. So this is really cool to see him do this. And it's 128 gigabytes. You know, where else? Everyone else has gone to 256, 400, which I'm totally good with. But I know a lot of you out there are like, give me retro gaming on the cheap. And it doesn't get much cheaper than a 128 gigabyte micro SD card under 20 bucks. And you're playing this stuff in no time. So now you're wondering, well, what, Drew, Drew, what, what, what are you holding? What, why, aren't, why can't you say this is your number one go-to image? And that is because Galisteo, uh, I believe his primary language is Portuguese. So a lot of what you're going to see on here is in Portuguese. Like if you select a random game here, he, even, he includes the Portuguese games. Look at that. He actually has the Mega Drive games in Japanese, the hack games, and the Brazilian games. Another reason why I like his stuff, he includes the hack games. I, I, you know, it's a small little thing, but a lot of these systems have these little homebrew hack games that are fun to play. But um, let me find another game. Um, so here you go. See the metadata in the lower right corner here? That is in Portuguese. Now that to me is, I can care less myself, um, you know, especially because I go by the video snap. The video snap's pretty cool on this too. Look, when you wait, there it is. You get to see what game you're about to play. But um, there are a few games like in the ports over here and in the um, and in Scum DM that if you notice here, the, all these Scum DM games, which is only about a dozen, they all say BR next to it because they're all Brazilian titles. So um, it's it's in Portuguese. Um, I think that's what BR stands for. Somebody correct me if I'm wrong. Um, anyways, so um, this image does come in Portuguese to start, and all I do is you go to system settings over here and you change it to English. But what that does, see there's about 115 gigs, you can see it there, and it's running 7.1.1 reloaded. But uh, you just changing the language here just changes the operating system. It doesn't change the actual ROMs. And so some of his ROMs are in Portuguese, and it's very few, it's maybe about 5%. But you should know that. Now, the reason I still review this image is because as you're about to see, it's still what it lacks in the a few titles and the language barrier in some very small places. It makes up for the compact size, really well done, you know, plug and play details to the max. Um, it, it's it's really a. a um, a solid image. It's one that I that I recommend a lot, especially a lot of new people, because Recall Box in my mind is easier than uh, RetroPie for a newbie. So let's jump into it. So on first boot, my controller, my Xbox 360 controller works just fine, but if not, you want to hit start and go over to controller settings here and change your input for player one or player two, whatever you want to change up. You also want to go to system settings and change this to English. Um, it does not seem to be overclocked. I have to go check the BIOS, but I don't think so because it even has it disabled over here under overclock. Um, it does work with the Pi 4 and the Pi 400 and it's over 15,000 games. So let's go ahead and go through these game collections. Like I said earlier in the video, you just got to watch out. There are some Portuguese titles, but very few. 
And uh, I'm about to play some games later. I actually, I usually when I'm checking out images, I play the games first. And uh, there's a few, and you know, my one pick with him so far is there's a few N64 titles, like for example, Micro Machines, not Micro Machines, but Hot Wheels. It just doesn't run on this thing. I mean, come on, it, it's it's not good enough. Uh, some of these 3DO games, I haven't played them all. Then how many do you have? Four, Gex, Samurai Showdown, Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo, Boom Side, those should run just fine. Then this is for DD. You do have SimCity and Super Mario, the disc version, which is kind of cool that they included that. Mega CD32 got 85. Amstrad CPC, CD, CPC got 357. 2600, you got 652, 5273. And, and this is why I like his images, because it's a 120 gigabyte image. And look how many, look at the, it's going to be like, when you add this all up, it's going to be close to 30 systems or more, and 15,000 games. So, Atomus Wave 11. And I understand a lot of you out there are, and let's see what you have for Atomus Wave. And as you can see, that this, um, this theme is called the Dream Boxing. And this is actually another pet peeve I don't like about this image. Just look when I press start right here. And I think you might be able to change this, but it's really hard to see this menu when you're on a particular system. Now let me get out of this menu, go back out to the main menu here, and now hit my start, and it's actually fine. But I don't like it that when you're in a system like this, and then you hit the start button, like they see how the letters overlap over the other letters like here, it's just really hard to see. I guess it's easy to see where your red light is, where it's highlighted, but other than that, it's kind of weird. And as you see, there's some glitching here. I'm not sure if that's VRAM or, or if that's the that's the uh, actual theme. But I do like if you watch the video snaps here that it like comes out. You know, it kind of spins. Let me just go to another one. It'll do like some sort of transition here. That one spun. Sometimes it spins. Sometimes it just magnifies. Yeah, see that was like a magnify one, which is cool. Um, and I was starting to get into a little rant about you know, what people, people's problem with these types of images like his, it's like, why does he throw all this stuff on here? You'll never in a thousand years be able to play this many games. It's cool that he has the Final Burn Alpha hacks. So these are, this is going to be your CPS1, your Capcom Play System 1, 2, and 3 here in the Final Burn Neo directory. And uh, I get that whole argument, but I know there's a lot of people that like to have everything, you know, and it, it's, it's about, you know, same reason why people wear have big rims or and stuff like that. It's like, do you really need that that big of a ride height? You know, are you actually going to be doing any off roading? No, but you know, I like it just in case. Well, hey, if you want these games just in case, <laughs> there you go. Game Gear two sixty three. Some people do just get these images to have all the ROMs, right? To back up all the ROMs. It's another reason for a lot of people. Game Boy almost five hundred. Game Boy Advance. 19, what, Jesus, that's a lot of games. Did you get to see that? So um, if you hit start it's, or select, it'll show you the, let's say there's no favorites for this system, but I believe you hit select normally, it should show you your favorites. Like I know in Nintendo 64, I have some favorites set up. Yeah, so select, changes to favorites like that. So let's go back up. And I was showing you, um, what we're in Game Boy, I wanted to see, okay, so they're finally, wow, so there really is, nice, there's gotta be some hacks built in. So it's interesting that, oh, Game Boy, I was just in color. Game Boy, if you hit your um, your triggers, it'll jump letters. I was trying to get back to A, because I was like, there's gotta be folders. Okay, there we go. I was like, there's no way you can just put 1,900 games and I'm like, imagine how far you'd have to scroll. So there's 650 Japanese titles, 155 Portuguese titles, and then all your other titles here, which is still like over 1,000, because it's 1,800 total. Game Boy Color, was there folders in this one? I don't think so, no, but almost 600. In television, 158. Jaguar, 59. Cool games for that system. Lutro, you got nine games. Pong, baby. Uh, Atari Lynx, 76. Main, 1900. Another huge system. Huge collection. Master System, 492. Mega Drive, 1400. Again, you know, you have your Mega Drive for Japanese, Portuguese, and then your hacks. You got the Bugs Life hack, you got the Amy Rose hacks, got an ordinary Sonic, Angry Birds. So a lot of homebrew things like that. That's actually something that I gotta give props to him. He's one of the only image creators, you know, that that throw all that extra stuff in there. And you know it's fun, you know, especially if you're showing it to somebody who grew up with these games and they're kind of bored of them. It does give you like a little variation. Like the Guitar Hero, the, the Controller Hero for Nintendo, stuff like that. Neo Geo. I'll play Metal Slug 6 later. 
pretty much all of them. What is it like? Once again, yeah, no, so Nintendo twenty two hundred games because you got Dynavision in here. You got almost seven hundred hacks in here. <laughs> Arkanoid has literally five different hacks here. I don't know if those are different hacks or the same file. Wow, it's a lot. Castlevania, Dig Dug. I mean, look at all this stuff. Mega Man, Rockman, even Zelda hacks. And then you have all your normal ones as well. And Neo Geo Pocket 9, Neo Geo Pocket Color, 82. Video Pack, 116. Open Bore, 18. It's cool that you added all this. With Video Snaps, of course. You might need a keyboard for this. Marvel Infinity War, Open Bore. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Red Sky Battle. PC Engine, you got 290. Ports, you got 11. 2048. Cave Story might also be in Portuguese as well. Mm, it looks like it's in English. Uh, you have to check it out. Doom, Flashback, Mr. Boom, Outrun, Quake, Rick Dangerous. I've never played this. It looks like a, Do a Doom uh, port. Wolfenstein 3D. PSP, 148 games. So there's where a lot of your space is. And then you put all his PSP minis in his own little folder at the top. Thank you. Hit select here. There's his uh, favorites. Hit select it out of there. PlayStation. How the hell did he fit 711 PlayStation games on 128 gigabytes? All right, that's pretty cool. I did not know you can compress them down that much. I'm not, you know, is it possible? I, I mean, I guess. Wow. 700 PlayStation games. I, my mind is blown. Scum VM 10, Sega 32X 38, Sega CD 154, Sega SG 1000, Super Nintendo 1400. Again, you're gonna have your folders up here: Satella View, Super Famicom hacks, and your Portuguese games. So when you minus those 500 or so, you're still left with 900 Super Nintendo games. Solaris, these are those uh, Zelda versions. Got a bunch. Super Graphics, you got your traditional five. Tick 80. And then back to his favorites. So here are his favorite games. A lot of good games in here. I must run. A lot of fighters. Super Mario Bros. And Top Gear. Back to all games. 1500, Mission four.
versus SNK. All right, so final thoughts as we're finishing up this video. So, um, as I've mentioned, pros, 120 gigabytes, super small download, super cheap micro SD card. How the hell did he fit 15,000 games on this thing? I have no idea. Actually, I do have an idea. I mean, he's using some really compressed ROMs, um, and uh, yeah, good for him. And uh, wide variety, right? Super wide variety of systems and games. Amazing. Um, runs really great on overclock. Works for the Pi 400 out the gates and with the Pi 4. Really good, right? So a lot going for it. Negatives. One, there's some like, there's still some games on here I would never play just because they don't run very well. As well as there's a lot of bloat on here. Let's, let's not be joking. Like, there's a lot of games you're just never, ever going to touch. Which, you know, isn't that big of a deal. And then the Portuguese that one being the biggest problem for any English native speakers. Just because, you know, you want something that you can read and understand. And if you're going to play a game, you want to make sure it's going to be the version of the game that you can actually read. And you will run into that a few times on here. Um, there's background music, I didn't show you all that. It's, like, it's really good background music too. It's like the in-game music, like the Tetris theme song and you know, Sonic theme song and stuff like that. It's running really well with that. Um, so overall, I'm gonna give it a B plus, A minus. Almost all that reduction in grade is just because of the, the language barrier. You know, I'm just not his audience. If I spoke Portuguese natively, I'd give this an A. No problem whatsoever. Um, but like I said, Galisteo has been in the in the game for a really long time. You can check out his YouTube channel. I know it's been published here a few times. He, put, he puts it throughout his theme. I guess that would be another negative that I don't personally like. Is like if I'm going to download an image, like I don't want it to be, you know, other people's advertising on it. Like I'd want it to be my own or just not have anything. But you can absolutely edit that yourself. So that's what I think. Let me know what y'all think. Don't forget to like, subscribe. We'll catch ya. Round three, fight. Yeah.